Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Virgo. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're all taking care of yourselves. Welcome back to my subscribers. A big welcome to all the new viewers. I hope you guys uh, are doing all right. If you're in an area that's completely locked down, hang in there, all right. Start manifesting that new love, even if it's just online. All right, you'd be surprised what can happen if you put some work into it. Here we go. Chaos and conflict. Yeah, truth be told. Yeah, someone's got some truth to tell you. Somebody maybe never told you the truth about something, but there's some kind of chaos and conflict going on with you right now, or there's somebody else who's coming in to cause some caution. Yeah, somebody wants to speak a truth to you. All right, it could be a bit of a... Yeah, to be fair. Oh, yeah. So somebody's going to try to be fair. There's some kind of conflict. Maybe you had some conflict with someone and they want to come and speak the truth. They want to balance things out. They want to do the right thing. Yeah, they're going to try to be fair. All right, Virgo, or this is you. All right, we got the angry little owl here that's very focused, all right, on the truth, on the clarity. So there's some kind of justice happening here. Yeah. Here we go, Virgo. New love. Focusing on new love, Virgo. Yeah, you might you might have cut somebody out because there was too much chaos and conflict, all right? Uh, you might have got some justice. <laughs> yeah, you're going to do the right thing. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. New love energy for Virgos. There we go. Yes, there you are. You're single, but there is somebody here. Yeah. There is a person. You're looking for that perfect person. You're alone. You're by yourself. you got a lot of abundance. There is a person here I feel like you feel is just right for you. There may have been some conflict. There may be some truth that needs to be told, okay, regarding the two of you. So very interesting. Somebody might be wanting to know if, if there's any competition as well, okay? Uh, I feel like there's this person who you feel is just right for you or they feel you're just right for them. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Very interesting. Yes, you find each other very attractive. And uh, you could be manifesting this, all right? Yes, that's a Virgo energy right there. The magician, Mercury energy. It's one of your planets. So there you go. Yeah, there's a been there, done that. I feel like there's going to be some kind of communication here and some truth. Uh, something's going to be exposed here. Something's going to be brought to light. There's a new beginning in the middle. I feel like you both want this new beginning. You're very passionate. I feel like you're very attracted to each other. Uh, you're actually a really good fit. You both take care of yourselves. You always look good. You look good together, too. Uh, that's the interesting part. Someone feels that way about you, and likely vice versa. But we have this Eight of Swords. I feel like you're overthinking something. You're trapped in your head here, overthinking, or there's some truth that needs to be told. Uh, you need to manifest a way to fix this. You may have got trapped in something. Uh, someone maybe didn't tell the truth. Okay. Yeah, there may have been some competition or something. I feel like you're single now. I feel like this person is also single. Yeah, you see this person is a good fit. I feel this is a very vice versa re reading. So we have the three of wands. Yeah, there may have been somebody here. There's going to be some talk about this. There may have been a uh, third party. And I feel like somebody really uh, was giving attention to other people or somebody is wanting some attention, some acknowledgement. Okay, there's somebody who may be waiting for attention, waiting for news, waiting to hear from you, or vice versa. Uh, I feel like you're going to talk back and forth with each other. You both might just be so alone right now. I'm not seeing a whole lot of lonely energy. I see two people who are quite comfortable. They got their money together. They're looking out for themselves, you know, at this point. So whatever it is that's happened, there was some kind of conflict or competition in the past. All right, yeah, so we have the truth. So somebody needs to come in and speak the truth to clear things up, to get this passionate new beginning. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah, this is going to take a lot of work. This person focuses a lot on work. You focus a lot on work. Yeah, I feel like there was some kind of painful ending here. Someone spoke their truth. Someone may have cut you out. So you may have recently gone through this with this person, or this could be another person. Uh, who spoke their truth and cut you out, okay, or vice versa. 
Uh, I feel, yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there is a Gemini energy, possibly, but I feel like this person that you're interested in, I feel like you're both Earth, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn uh, is very heavy here. We have some Leo energy in the middle, but this is a new beginning, doesn't have to be a Leo, but someone's, you know, there was a painful ending here. Someone spoke the truth, they cut you out, they might have been a little harsh, a little sharp, maybe this person wasn't fair, okay, maybe you felt they weren't fair with you. But generally, this person speaks their truth. They say what they need to say. They just, they don't mince words, all right? I feel like you both work a lot. I do. And I feel like, you know, you're looking into the future, wondering if this could work. And I do think you'd like to work on this situation with this person. And I think they'd like to work on it with you. Kitty Corner, you're both earth. Yeah, you're both grounded. You're both practical. You both work a lot, a lot <laughs> on your pentacles, on your money. And I feel it looks like you'd make a great couple. You'd work really well together. So this is someone coming in. So you may have cut somebody else out and become single. Or someone just cut you out. It was a painful ending. Or someone just said goodbye. Okay. And um, But yeah, there's a need for something. Someone felt like they weren't being treated right or things weren't fair. There wasn't balanced. But there's a need to speak a truth to be fair. All right. To bring justice back. So that's what you're headed in. But yeah, I feel like you're single. I feel like you're reaching out to somebody. There's something brand spanking new starting here. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles for Virgo. Virgo. Yeah, so you're doing a lot of thinking. Uh, there you may be healing by yourself and doing some healing, but doing a lot of thought. I feel like you're both thinking about each other. You're both healing, about healing the situation between you. You're definitely finding each other attractive. You both want this passionate new beginning. I feel like you're both creative, fiery, all right, passionate about all the things that you do. Okay, you both might work in something creative. You may be starting something new creative as well. Um, both of you, for that matter. Yeah, you're very similar. I see that you're very similar. You're like the same, and you you make a really good fit. You know, I love this card because it shows two people who look at each other and they see the, that they're the same, and they make a good fit. In fact, other people are jealous watching you. Yeah, very interesting. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. What's going on with the Ace of Wands? Ah, yes. Trusting your intuition. Very interesting. I think you're instinctively, you know, that this person finds you attractive, vice versa. I feel one of you may have Pisces. There may have been some secrets in the past that somebody wants to fix. All right. Somebody's trying to figure out a way to fix this situation. There was some kind of conflict between you and this person. Or maybe at the time there was competition. Somebody cut in. Okay. Uh, it could be as simple as that. Uh, but I do feel like you're both holding back, staying single, looking out for yourselves, hanging on to your money, working on your money, and uh, definitely healing, but thinking about each other. So we have the magician. Is this magician here? What has been manifested here with the magician energy? Ah, there you go. Yes, that's you, <laughs> Virgo. Yeah, you're manifesting something, likely money. Uh, you're trying to manifest more money. You're working very hard. You're very passionate about this. But I feel like you're trying to figure out a way to manifest a new beginning with this person you find attractive. You're trusting your gut that you can do this. And you are paying attention to the detail. You're working through this process. You're taking a long time, though. Um, uh, you're very slow, very meticulous, paying attention to the detail. Uh, I feel like you're overthinking this. All right, you're overthinking it. I can see that you're thinking a lot. Uh, you're trapped in your head about this, and uh, you're, you need to get some clarity, right? You're trying to figure out how to get this new beginning. So very interesting. Eight of Wands. What's going on with the Eight of Wands? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, something new, something brand spanking new in the middle. Yeah, so we have somebody here, look at that, speaking their truth, becoming clear. So uh, this could be you if you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart, or this person has a Gemini who's thinking a lot about them as well, about having a new beginning. Um, it could be you getting very clear about communicating. I feel like there's going to be some very clear communication about a new beginning. Something is going to be exposed. Some truth is going to be uh, brought out. Yeah, there's something that needs to be cleared up. So I, I feel like there's somebody 
there's a very painful ending. I feel like you want to talk to somebody, clear something up about a painful ending. Uh, you're becoming very clear in your head at what happened, why it happened, but you're burdened by this. And you want to put an end to all this. Okay, you want to expose everything. You want this new beginning. Tell me about this one. This could be somebody else coming towards your person. This is a Gemini energy as well, unless you have that in your chart. You, There could be a Gemini person um, manifesting the same person that you want. So just so you know, uh, they could have Leo in their chart. There may have been a painful ending with that person as well. They're also burdened, possibly, but I feel like it's you, all right, with this truth. And I feel like you're ready. You're very clear. Uh, you want to put an end to all this. And you want to communicate. I feel like you're going to communicate very clearly. And I like that. Uh, it's going to happen very quick, very sudden. You're just going to make up your mind to do it. So tell me about the sun. Yeah, so yeah. So if some of you feel like there's not a lot of hope here. Some of you are lonely. You want this new beginning. And you feel like there's no hope. And you're very trapped in your head about it. Yeah, so you feel left out in the cold, lost and lonely, or there's something that needs to be spoke about, brought to the surface about someone being ghosted, maybe made made to feel like they weren't good enough. Okay, there's definitely something that needs to have the light shone on it, some clarity revolving this. So, yeah, so you, you know, I feel like you just can't stop thinking about something. Okay, now it could be your person, all right, but I kind of feel like they're down here. I feel, you know, I do. I feel like they're just, they're just right down here. And I feel like this person works a lot. I feel like they would work with you. They would work just as much as you do. This is the cool thing about this person, uh, this Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, you know, I feel like you're both thinking about each other nonstop. You can't get out of each other's energy. <laughs> Uh, thinking about whether this will work or not. Uh, you're both workaholics. You think a lot about that too. So yeah, there's a need for some stability. I do think you will become stable. Uh, you're working You're working around the clock, I feel. Um, very hard on your pentacles, working through the details. I do feel like you're going to get out of this. You are going to become stable. Okay. Um, you're, yeah, you're really up in your head about your finances right now. That's very Virgo. Uh, this person as well. Okay, but there's something stable, something that you can't think about, uh, stop thinking about with this person, uh, commitment, stability, being reliable. Okay, so, yeah, so there, so we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, this could be you, uh, yeah, you may be getting your emotions, stabilizing your emotions, and you may want to reach out to this person once you feel uh, more stable, more grounded, Okay, where you can rely to speak to this person without getting emotional. They they may have somebody else too. Like I said, I feel like there's another person here. Um, but it all could be you, could be them. Take it as it is. Depends if you're a man or a woman. Because uh, I, I feel that we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. And I, I do feel like this is you. Um, because you're right here on top, the Magician, right? Uh, and I do feel like this is your other person. And I do think they're looking into the future, uh, concentrating on their work. They're working very hard for their future, as you are. But they're also looking into the future, being realistic about whether this can work with you. Uh, they're very discerning. There was a painful ending, possibly, between the two of you in the past. But I also feel, for some of you... Uh, there's somebody that you're cutting out because of this person and you want to make things work with them. You may have cut someone else out or somebody else may have cut you out. So, uh, which I feel it, it's a goodbye. It's over. It's done. Whatever it is. Okay. So it, it's either this person was that way with you. Maybe they weren't fair or they felt they weren't being treated fair. Take it as it resonates. They could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, but there's definitely another person's energy here. I see this third party, the truth coming out, uh, the clarity. Uh, it's gonna. There's going to be a victory at the end of this. I feel it. So tell me about this. I feel like, yeah, definitely you've got your emotions in check. You're emotionally available. And I feel like you want to reach out and talk to this person and make something stable. It's like you really want something solid and stable, something secure. Okay. Uh, it's like you're ready for it. But you either left this person out in the cold in the past or they did or you're just lonely. Okay. Yeah. Get out in the sun. All right. It helps. 
Yeah, you're probably both lonely, both wanting a new beginning, both probably need to get out in the sun. Uh, it, and for anybody who lives in an area, and if you're in the house a lot, feeling a bit bummed out right now, it's a good time. Get as much sun as you can. It helps so much, okay? Tell me about the Three of Wands. Yeah, so there's, yeah, there was some dishonesty and deception. Someone's not so sure, all right? Yeah, so somebody... <sighs> Something needs to be acknowledged and brought to the surface with the sun uh, and with the three of wands. Somebody is waiting for something, waiting for something that needs to be acknowledged. Someone was getting attention from other people. All right. Um, it sort of feels like mind games a little bit, but I feel like you have this mental connection. You're both waiting for each other, waiting for each other to reach out and give each other attention. And it feels kind of like a mind game, but I kind of don't feel like it is okay yeah somebody was dishonest they had other options uh, there's something that needs to come out there may be some uh, confusion to do with this sort of a fantasy all right um yeah somebody was dishonest there was they had their options open uh, that truth needs to come out the truth always leads to a victory one way or another okay so tell me about the ace of swords yeah, so somebody definitely spoke their truth, and uh, they felt they got a victory. So, yeah, someone said what they needed to say. They may have said something like, I'm nobody's option, because the Queen of Swords will do that. All right, you have other options, or you're keeping your options open, and uh, they're not going to sit around and wait for this. Okay, somebody doesn't want to sit around and wait and be treated like an option. They feel that there was something dishonest or some kind of mind game being played. Okay. Queen of Swords, yeah, so yeah, so this person doesn't have all the truth and they don't have all the information, but they may have been a little quick to judge to cut the situation out. Um, they feel at least that it was some kind of a victory, but they really just want to know the whole truth and nothing but the truth and they never got it, okay, so that's what I feel uh, has happened here. They never got the truth, so they may have been very quick to cut things out but they felt they needed to get this victory they needed to uh, put an end to this they do speak the truth this person does speak the truth all right they do concentrate on their money they're very calm very relaxed very practical they take care of themselves in their home they work very hard and uh, yeah so there was a painful ending here all right uh, very painful this person's doing a lot of thinking they're thinking a lot about this well, they've been this is somebody a lot of times not always the queen of swords isn't always someone who's been hurt but she becomes very discerning they just want to know the truth they have a lot of questions to ask and they will cut things out if they don't get all the information or they feel like they're being manipulated or treated like an option or if there's any kind of confusion uh, they, this is someone who sticks around because this is somebody who looks out for themselves okay they're very realistic about things like that so sort of seeing it as it is seeing the bigger picture okay tell me about this queen of pentacles oops there we go yeah so this person's been hurt yeah they've been hurt they just want love okay yeah they just want love we got the king and queen of cups i feel like you both do you both want something stable and you're both you know, trapped in your heads, thinking of each other, feeling very emotional, keeping your emotions in check, though, trying to be grounded, right, try not to get too carried away, so I, I feel like this person just wants love, they, you know, been looking for love for a long time, it's just been a lot of work, and uh, they're afraid to put a lot of work into it anymore, so they just concentrate on their job and themselves and their home and things like that, uh, and I feel you're kind of in the same place, but they want to be able to give and receive love they definitely could use some nurturing i feel like both of you definitely want this new beginning but feel there's a little hope in it because and you're very lonely you're both lonely all right feeling not good enough feeling left out in the cold yeah so tell me about this eight of pentacles why is this here i feel like the two of you this is an eight two people something that repeats right working together and uh you know they look into the future they feel like that if the two of you work together this could work but you were them yeah there's love there's love there's emotion 
uh, this need to nurture and care for somebody. And, you know, the Queen of Pentacles can be that way. Uh, they can be very loving, very nurturing. You know, they're always like, are you comfortable? They make you feel comfortable. Like, that's just the way they are because they're just so relaxed. And, you know, they care about how people feel. You know, is your soup too hot? Is your pillow fluffy enough? You know, do you want to put your feet up? <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah, so... Yeah, this person's very much invested, okay, yeah, they're, they want somebody who invests in them in the same way they invest in other people, and they're waiting very patiently for love, so they're waiting for the real thing, uh, they're just concentrating on work for now. I feel, and this could be you, but I feel like this is you up here, uh, this King of Pentacles with this uh, Magician energy. Um, you're taking your time working through something. You're manifesting money. You're manifesting something new. Uh, some of you, it could be a new creative project as well as love. And you're putting a lot of thought into love and your emotions. Uh, very much trapped. You two are both in the same energy. So there you are, Virgo. You're contemplating. Maybe you're watching this person on social media, vice versa. You're thinking and contemplating about investing in this. Uh, you're waiting patiently, maybe waiting for them to invest. Okay? Take it however it resonates uh, for you. Tell me about chaos and conflict. What happened here? Oops. Yeah, so there was some communication, fiery and passionate, uh, and it created a lot of conflict. Someone took their energy somewhere else. Somebody was possibly communicating with someone else. There was competition uh, via the internet, text message. Um, you know, there was some conflict. Someone's still holding it onto that conflict, those feelings. Somebody's looking at all the details, putting a lot of thought into it, and still holding on to that, keeping it very close to their chest still. And uh, someone's kind of stuck, not sure. Somebody was stubborn, maybe a little selfish. That may be part of what happened as well. Okay, you could be looking at the details, holding on to it, and so could this person, uh, your person, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They don't have to be. They could be any sign, but uh, this is the energy they are. This is somebody who feels like home, right? Nurturing and loving and caring. Uh, this person creates a great home. They take care of everybody, and they work, too. They make money. They, they look after themselves and everybody around them. Truth be told. What is the truth? What is the truth that needs to be told? Whoops. Ooh, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot, yeah. So somebody's thinking about this. Yeah, looking at the details. So when there is a message, if there is an offer, a message, a communication, and a truth comes out, uh, somebody's doing a lot of thinking about the details and you know, looking at it, is it realistic, is it practical, is this for real kind of an energy. Um, they may look at this and take their time. Yeah, both of you. Yeah, there's a need for some clear communication uh, back and forth. Somebody acts like they don't care, all right? Someone here is acting like they don't care. Uh, they are concentrating on their money. Uh, you know, I do think you're thinking about this person. I, I guarantee you they're thinking about you. I can see it. I think you're both thinking of each other, and I, I feel like you're both concentrating on money. You're both trying to be realistic, practical, grounded, and you might be slow to communicate. You may first, the first communication could be just really uh, everyday, mundane, like, hey, how you doing? How's work? Something like that. Uh, but then, yeah, there's some conflict here, okay? Yeah, so both of you are looking at this conflict, what happened in the past, still focused on it. Uh, I think you're not caring about it so much. Uh, but the other person is. If you're a guy, you're definitely not as focused on that conflict, uh, I feel. And if you're a woman, I feel like you still are. Uh, I feel like when you do communicate again, you're both going to be like fighting with yourselves not to communicate back too fast. That's what I kind of feel is happening. You're going to take your time replying uh, to make it act like you don't care so much. It's like, haha, yeah. So, yeah, there is a lot of things that are going to be exposed here, all right? But you're both going to be happy to talk to each other. Look at that. So, yeah, you're both going to act like you don't care. And you're going to take time replying to each other. So the per the other person... Um, <laughs> So the other person doesn't know how happy it makes you feel. Someone acts like they don't care, but they do. There's a lot of emotional fulfillment and happiness when the two of you do finally communicate. Ay, 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 you two. Virgo, who is this person? Come on, do it already. They're just sitting down here at the bottom. 
yeah, they just concentrating on work. They are thinking about offering their cup elsewhere. You know, they're wondering if their patience is going to pay off. Um, I feel like they are very invested in keeping themselves healthy right now and looking after themselves as well. Maybe even their family, that kind of energy. So, but I feel like you're contemplating this person. You're thinking about them. You're kind of digging deep and soul searching. And I feel like you could be watching them on social media. <laughs> as well yeah you're trying to gain the strength and the confidence maybe to come forward yeah to reach out to this person i feel like it's you yeah i do and i you may have cancer pisces or scorpio possibly pisces in your chart i see there uh interesting and gemini libra or aquarius as well so i think you're you know you're you're keeping things to yourself i feel like there was some secrets in the past or something that needs to be healed and cleared up between the two of you you're both thinking of each other uh, you're both trusting your intuition you're both spiritual uh, this is a very uh, spiritual connection i i think you both know this okay there's something here between the two of you because um, you both are probably just spiritual plain and simple and um but somebody may have been keeping secrets keeping things to themselves. Someone's doing a lot of soul searching, possibly watching the other person, feeling lonely, feeling lost, trying to get some clarity to see if there is any competition or anyone else in the picture. Okay, I don't feel like there is. Uh, there may have been for you at one point. Uh, they could have somebody coming in, man another person, a Gemini manifest in them where things ended painfully and the other person's burdened as well. They may get some communication, but I, I don't know. They may leave that person out in the cold or that person may not have enough money. Something's being exposed with this other person if it is another, okay? I just, I don't think uh, your person's interested in that one. If it's a Gemini, possibly if it's a Libra, they may. Or an Aquarius. So let's see what's... Because I do see this Libra energy down here about being fair, about being balanced, doing the right thing. Uh, justice needs to be served here. The truth needs to be told about the emotions, the feelings. So, yeah. So here we go. We got somebody coming back around, going with the flow. <clears throat> Somebody's changing direction, coming back to do the right thing. Uh, because there's someone here who's just right. There's balance. There is balance between the two of you. You're very similar um, yeah, so someone's just trying to figure out how to fix a situation. So um, be very careful, though. Like, don't try to fix somebody. If somebody has some major flaws or uh, something really not right that doesn't work, do not try to fix this person. Just go with the flow and uh, don't try to fix them. But I do think someone's coming back to, and they're trying to figure out how to come back around. They're trying to figure out how to fix the situation, uh, how to make it right, okay? Uh, someone's really has figured out that um, <clears throat> they need to learn to go with the flow. They need to let things evolve, and they need to uh, be more fair, more balanced, okay? So, very interesting. Somebody probably didn't play fair in the past. There may have been some cheating, some deception, Somebody just wants to win. Somebody wanted to win. There could be a little bit of arrogance here. Uh, if somebody comes in arrogant, um, yeah, I don't really feel like it's going to go over very well. All right. Um, so if they act arrogant towards you or vice versa, it's a little bit of caution there. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. A little more on the Seven of Swords. Why is this here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, so someone's, yeah, someone just can't figure out. They're trapped in their head. They're trapped. They can't get out of their head. They can't figure out how to come back around, how to evolve, how to make this right. Uh, there is a need for an apology. Someone needs to gain the confidence. Somebody's not very confident here, uh, feeling a bit shy uh, about reaching out. So you could very well have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio coming your way, or your person could, who's trying to gain the strength to come in and talk to them as well vice versa yeah I, I do see a lot of communication very swift very fast very passionate uh, someone's trying to read between the lines here about what happened in the past this conflict or somebody and someone's still holding on to it someone's looking like going through their text messages looking at this trying to figure out what the heck happened and why it happened someone's holding on to it trying to pick apart the details 
And we have chaos and conflict, so uh, there could be competition. Somebody may have figured out by looking at the details, something that was said in a text, and assume there was some kind of competition. Because I do see someone here who, there may have been some confusion around it, or too much confusion, so it led to a lack of trust. Um, somebody got tired of waiting around because someone may have been getting attention from other people, so it was like, they may have not have had all the information, but because of the confusion and this lack of trust, there was, somebody was cut out. It was a very painful ending. So for both of you, I feel. All right. So you may have cut someone out, or this might be this person who cut you out, or you may have had another person who's cut you out recently. So take it however it resonates. I, I wish you guys the best here. Let me grab a couple of outcome cards. What is the outcome of this situation for Virgo? What is the outcome of this situation? Oh, uh, yeah. Someone's afraid to come out of the safety of their home. Someone's afraid to take a step through the garden gate out into the unknown because it's unknown what's going to happen uh, if someone reaches out, okay? Someone's sort of afraid. There's fear here of leaving the safety. Uh, things are kind of you know, somewhat safe now, but it's also lonely being in the, the garden all by yourself, you know. There's a need to step through that gate, stop being afraid, and uh, there is this the healer of ages here. There is a great healing that needs to happen, okay? So beautiful, beautiful energy. Very spiritual uh, energy here. Yeah, there's a need to do the right thing. Someone needs to do the right thing and come in in a balanced manner. There's a need for some justice and balance here to heal this situation. Someone needs to do the right thing, plain and simple. Yeah, and that's all it'll take is justice, fairness, balance, maybe even a commitment uh, to heal this situation. Uh, so take a little time to rest or rejuvenate. Some of you may be meditating, um, right, before you decide to reach out. Some of you Virgos, or it could be the person uh, you're interested in thinking this way. But I, I feel anybody who's got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart definitely uh, is not the person who's going to um, make the first move. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay? No. The, no. <laughs> I'm trying to look at it like, huh, but no. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Uh, and I feel as though, yeah, this person's been hurt too much, right? They, they've they been hurt, and they're very practical and realistic about this. Unless the other person comes in and puts the work in, they're not doing it. They're concentrating on themselves and their own money and their own pentacles. They, they, there's been too much hurt. Love's been an absolute uphill battle, and they, I don't feel that they're going to put the work in. The other person needs to come in and put the work in and prove, right, that this is worth investing in, Okay. That's the thing. Somebody needs to come and invest and do the work first. So there isn't some contemplation going on in your part. Um, maybe you watch this person. You may have worked together in the past. I don't know. But whatever happened between you, I don't know. Trust some of you, like there were secrets, mysteries. Somebody was keeping things to themselves. Somebody trusted their intuition that another person was uh, had a passionate new beginning with someone. Uh, but you intuitively you both know that you're very attracted to each other like you're both number one in each other's eyes when it comes to that passion and that connection oh my gosh you guys yeah we have a man holding a heart so yeah there is somebody here who's possibly coming in wearing their heart on their sleeve someone that's ready for love uh, they could be coming towards you they could be coming towards your person and it could be you all right, could be your person. So take it as it resonates. Somebody is becoming emotionally available and ready for love here in a very big way. So I feel it's going to end well. It's just someone needs to get the confidence up. All right, uh, to come in. They need to gather up that strength and that courage to come in because, like I said, they're shy, a little apprehensive. Uh, it's going to be little baby steps, but it's kind of like... Um, feel like it's taken a long time for this to evolve to change and uh, like a really long time because somebody's overthinking too much. It's time to get out of your head. Both of you need to get out of your head and stop thinking about each other uh, so much uh, and come together and heal this situation because you're perfect for each other. Okay. If you're both earth or you're both grounded, practical, and you have everything I said that's going on here, then you're absolutely perfect for each other. Uh, just gotta, there can't be any more stubborn, selfish behavior, any more holding back. 
okay? Um, that's what I feel has happened. Somebody may have been arrogant, a little dishonest, just kind of wanted what they wanted. Uh, so just a little caution there because I feel like this person is very intuitive, um, or you are, or both of you actually, uh, about how this is going to play out um, you kind of both are in each other's energy and you both kind of know what the other person's doing so it's kind of interesting <laughs> okay so take care everybody I wish you the best bye for now